Hi, my name's Mike Hopkins. I'm Managing Director of Storm Geomatics. Now, if you're a surveyor or engineer in the hydraulic engineering industry, then I've got some software for you. Storm Geo River is going to help you work faster and more efficiently. I'll show you how. Keep watching. OK, the first thing to point out about this software is that it's licensed in the cloud. That means you can buy as much of it or as little of it as you want. You can top it up to your needs. OK, so if we come into the software now, um, we can open a new project. OK, a few different options there. OK, one of the first things is we need some data in. OK, where do we get the data from? Well, you can either bring it in as raw data from, uh, from surveys, or you can actually bring in existing model data, HECRAS, ISIS, MIC 11. So let's bring in some existing HECRAS data. Open that up. OK, and the great thing is you've got you just brought a HECRAS file in. If you want to convert it into an ISIS file, we can do that very quickly. Call it AVEN. Put it on the desktop. <clears throat> if we have a look on the desktop now, there it is. Open it with Notepad, and immediately we can see we have actually created a ISIS file from a HECRAS file in a couple of minutes. Very useful tool there. So you can go from, like I say, you could go from MIC 11 um, to ISIS to MIC 11 to, to HECRAS um, uh, in any combination. OK, let's have a look at bringing in some uh, raw data. So if we set a new project up, um, first of all, we bring in the center line. Uh, I've got one on the desktop here. So the center line comes in with the reach direction. OK, we can call it um, the name of our reach is Avon01. OK, standard sort of naming convention. So we have a piece of river, but we haven't got any information on it. So we can bring in some coordinates. OK, from the desktop again. This The coordinates uh, here are standard uh, X, Y, Z coordinates. In fact, we can mm. just have a quick look at that as a file. OK, so X, Y, Z code, and then anything after the code, you can put whatever you want, and it pulls it through. And in between each set of uh, coordinates, we just put a space line and that differentiates one section to the next. OK, so if we bring that in now into here. Uh, we'll have a look and see what it looks like. Now, just here, we if, if we put the date that it was surveyed on, Wednesday the 13th, say, then that, that date will come through in all the cross sections for your drawings. So if we import that, here's the data, come straight in. OK, if we have a look at the uh, the reach now, you'll see we've got all our cross sections and it's automatically named them. So we've got all our uh, cross section chainages there, zero being the downstream end, 326 being the, the highest, uh, most upstream cross section. Another great uh, feature of this is the ability to change your naming conventions at any point during your project. So, for instance, the MIC 11 chainage convention here. If we have a look at these now, we'll see that all the chainage is actually reversed back round the other way. Um, and what we have at the upstream end is a change of 45 because MIC 11 works from upstream to down. So we can very quickly change things around, which can be hugely time consuming if you've got to do that kind of thing manually. OK, let's drill down into some of this data that we've just brought in. OK, this is a typical cross section that's come in. OK, if we look at um, 
a point here and uh, we're in modify survey data mode we can we can look at various details of the point but interestingly here if we go into properties we've got complete traceability okay back to where this point came from so it's telling us the extended data at the end of the uh, code as we showed in the uh, raw data file we can even go back to where this file came from it came from the desktop it came from uh, cross section dot that file so I can even go to where that file is and it will take me so traceability very important when it comes to uh, trying to recover problems with your data especially and that really can speed up uh, the process because it's often the problems that cause you lots and lots of time small problems can cost you big time so traceability really important when it comes to editing uh, cross sections this is a typical sort of raw uh, raw bridge in its, in its format that it might come in it's untidy and we need to get it to our customer uh, looking good uh, we can uh, move the survey data around we can draw lines within Geo River but as a option you can actually export this as a DXF file uh, and you can know you can if you, you will have a CAD package there are some very inexpensive CAD packages on the market um, you can bring this uh, DXF file that you've just created into your CAD package okay and it comes in as a block so if we explode the block uh, and we can actually use all the CAD tools we want to enhance this and then we can bring it back in and all those enhancements will be within Geo River okay so I, let's just bring in one that I made earlier okay This is what uh, what we've been working on. So I can then save that. And close it so that when we come back into Geo River, we can import that uh, data. And behind all that, you will see the data that we've just created. You can also very quickly get rid of all the nasty lines. Which will leave us the tidy data that we've just created. Okay, if we have a look at a completed model here, um, we can see that we have some photographs attached to uh, each cross section. Now every surveyor river engineer will know that photographs are an invaluable uh, uh, source of information when making decisions so what happens with storm geo river is uh, it, the metadata of the photograph is taken from the photo and the photo with the metadata is embedded into the software okay so wherever the model goes so do your photographs so you don't get the the problem of uh, the two items separating so when you want to put a photograph in okay it shows you the photograph on the screen and you pick the location where you took the photo from and the second point this is important okay the direction you took it in the second point actually renames the photograph to the same name as the reach and the chainage so that when you export your photo schedule um, you select all of them okay and we can put in the desktop, we'll put them all in there. 
as test. And that will export all the photos. Let's just have a look at that. And it renames the photos to the chainage. And if two chainages are the same, it gives it an A and a B. So that there's no renaming of photographs. Now this is a very time consuming area which everybody finds. Um, and with it you get a, a schedule showing the location of all the photographs, etc, etc. Really time saving uh, function that. So we can create a lot of the standard outputs uh, using Storm Geo River. Uh, we can export key plans. We can export all the cross sections. We can give the cross sections titles. We can do mic 11 changes or standard changes. Uh, we can have our own templates on them. Um, you can process a job from start to finish in Storm Geo River and you're going to get some quality deliverables. Here's that bridge we were looking at earlier. This has been produced in Storm Geo River. You can see the lines are cranked so that they don't overwrite. Very little work to do once you actually get it into CAD. Um, we've got uh, also the long section information, the key plan information, all pretty much done uh, to a complete stage once you get out of Geo River. So everything you do in Geo River is saving you time, which in turn is saving you money, and it's something really you need to be looking at. So there's just a few features of Storm Geo River that can save you time. So your next step, you can either try it by buying a 30-day license online today or book an appointment. I'll come and see you. We'll sit down and we'll see how much manual stuff you're doing that we can automate within Storm Geo River. So don't waste any more time. Book me now. I'll come and see you.